What the fuck? Scott, what are you doing, man? I thought you said you were done with this game, but here you go with Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. There was never just one. Very good picture if I do say so myself. I love the the little ominous blue glow around sister location. Um, this is quite the teaser if I do say so myself. Um, but the reason why I'm making this video is because you guys may or may not know about this picture already. It, it was released on Scott's website about four days ago. Um, and I just made this video because I want to know what you guys think. I want to know if you guys have any theories or if you have any idea what this animatronic is, any idea where the sister location will be. Um, but it's a sister location, right? And, the, and that means the it's going to be smaller, right? The building's going to be smaller. That's what it means, right? You get the little sister location, then you get the big brother location. Um, there was never just one. So, ugh, excuse me, in, in, uh, in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, the phone guy mentioned a sister location where the spring lock had him out. This something had to do with the spring lock. I can't, I can't remember, but maybe that's where this will be. I'm not sure. But uh, looking at the animatronic in the background, creepy as hell. But it has those little cheeks like like Toy Bonnie does, the toy animatronics. Um, and it has a very straight row of teeth, very perfect human-like teeth. Um, which is very interesting to see So that could could mean a few things This is way back in time before the animatronics got bigger teeth <laughs> Or this could be in the future when they refined it and made it a lot more kid-friendly um, Not sure that metal endoskeleton could be an endoskeleton or those could be human teeth But I don't think so because they're they're too straight Human teeth curve, you know, you know what your teeth look like. Um, but looking at the facial structures of this animatronic, I'd like to say maybe a bear, a fox. It could be none of these, but it has chubby cheeks. Maybe a squirrel, maybe a squirrel. Yeah, but it has long ass eyelashes, big old eyes, and um, white hair, white fur. I don't know. I don't know what that would be, but I'm gonna guess that's gonna be the Freddy of all this. Like, there's no more Freddy. It's gonna be whatever the animatronic is. I don't, I don't know why it's called Five Nuts at Freddy still. If that animatronic in the background is the, you know, the main animatronic, I don't think that that would be Freddy as well. But whatever, Five Nuts at Freddy's, it's just, you know, Five Nuts at Freddy's 3 had Springtrap. That was the main guy. So it's whatever. I just thought Scott was done with the series altogether, but um, I guess some theories would be, you know, well not really theories, but I hope Scott does something different. I hope we're not sitting in a security room looking at cameras this time. I hope he has a whole different idea for the gameplay. You know, in the fourth game, uh, he said there'd be free roaming, but that's not what I had in mind, the clicking to move to the next door. Click to move? No, I want to move with my fingers. Like, I want to use WASD to walk around. Like, if, if this game used actual movements, it would be so much better, huge improvement, and it would do a lot better. But I feel like it's going to be the same point and click game, which I can live with that because I'm a big sucker for the story. I love this game for the story, and since this picture has been released, all the all the fanboys are going to be crawling back, and I'm one of them. And, um, uh, I'm, I'm excited for this low-key. It's not really low-key anymore. I just told you guys, blurred, it just blurted it out to your faces. But, I have no idea what this could be. I brightened up the picture, and there was nothing hiding in the shadows. Like, whenever Scott would release teaser pictures, he'd make something very, very dark, and you'd have to brighten it up, like, three times and able to see it clearly. But I did it like six times and nothing was behind the shadows. So this is the only picture we have to go by right now. And the name of the picture, the file name of the picture whenever you download it is just project. Project.jpg. See, sometimes he has a name in the picture. Like he'll name the picture a certain thing. So if you download it, you'll see the name. So there's like little Easter eggs here and there. But this, I absolutely have nothing to go off of by this. But I'm definitely going to keep an eye out. And if I get anything juicy, I'll make a theory, I'll give my theories out. I don't have much right now, but let me know what you guys think this could all be.
because I'm, I'm actually pretty curious and this is very intriguing to me and I'm actually kind of excited to go back into this because it's been a while since Five Nights at Freddy's was big on the map. I mean, there's tons of fan games, but I really hope this stands out again. You know, I hope he does something new. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like down below if you enjoyed and if you're excited for a Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. I know I am, but I'm not going to like my own video, you fucking idiot. Who does that? <laughs> I don't do that anymore. But anyway, hit subscribe to join the Penguin Empire today, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.